in my previous video, uh, I proved uh, sine alpha plus beta. Okay, so let me write that again. So we proved that sine alpha plus beta is sine alpha cos beta. plus cos alpha sine beta, plus cos alpha sine beta. And we also proved that uh, sine alpha minus beta is equal to sine alpha cos beta minus uh, cos alpha cos beta. Okay, now we can use this result basically this result to prove the compound angle for cos. Okay, so let me use a different color now. So if you want to do say cos alpha plus beta, you want to prove the compound angle formula for cos alpha plus beta. Cos alpha plus beta is same as sine 90 minus alpha plus beta. Now, where did I get this? Because uh, I hope you know that cos theta is equal to sine 90 minus theta. Now, you can use prove this quite easily using a right angle triangle. Okay, so if you want to, if you draw a right angle triangle, suppose say, you can prove this quite easily. So this is a right angle triangle. I keep pressing this. So this is a right angle and say this is theta. If this is theta, this angle is 90 minus theta. Okay, so with respect to this, this is the opposite. This is the adjacent and this is your hypotenuse. So what is cos theta? Cos theta is adjacent over a hypotenuse, which is, so let me not write opposite adjacent. Uh, let me write letters, say, this is A, B, and C. This is A, B, and C. So cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is B, C, over A, C. And what is sine 90 minus theta? Sine 90 minus theta is opposite over adjacent, is opposite over adjacent. For 90 minus theta, the opposite is BC. Opposite over hypotenuse, sorry. I said opposite over adjacent. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos theta is BC over AC, which is the hypotenuse. And sine theta, sine is opposite over hypotenuse over AC. Now can you see this is BC over AC? And this is also BC over AC. And that's how we can say that cos theta, cos theta is equal to sine 90 minus theta. Okay, so, so let's continue from here. So if you want to simplify this, can I write again cos alpha plus beta is equal to, I'm going to simplify, I'm open the bracket, so that is sine, uh, can I write 90 minus alpha minus beta. I'm just open the bracket and regroup the alpha and beta. So I'm going 90 minus alpha minus beta. Now using sine alpha minus beta formula, I can say this is sine 90 minus alpha times cos beta minus cos 90 minus alpha times, uh, I made a mistake here, I, it should be uh, cos alpha sine beta minus cos alpha sine beta. Cos alpha sine beta. Always good to check. 
okay so sine alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sine beta the only difference is if it is plus here you got a plus and if you got a minus here you got a minus so cos 90 minus alpha times sine beta times sine beta okay so what is this this is sine 90 minus alpha is cos theta uh so, sorry sine 90 minus alpha is cos alpha so it's cos alpha cos beta minus and cos 90 minus alpha is sine alpha minus sine alpha sine beta okay so cos so let me rewrite so cos alpha plus beta is equal to cos alpha cos beta minus sine alpha sine beta sine alpha sine beta we can prove this also in a different way we, i'll do that in the next video now what about cos alpha minus beta so let me use a different color cos 90 sorry cos alpha minus beta is same as cos alpha plus negative beta cos negative negative beta so using the same formula for cos alpha plus beta i can say this is cos alpha cos negative beta minus sine alpha sine negative beta now in the previous video i've uh, I told you or we proved it that cos negative beta is cos beta and sine negative beta is minus sine beta so this so this this will not change so this is same as cos alpha cos beta and this will become negative and that negative and this negative will make this positive so this is plus sine alpha sine beta okay so uh, cos alpha minus beta cos alpha minus beta is cos alpha cos beta plus sine alpha sine beta so let's apply this where do we apply this so what does it mean to say cos so if you want to find the exact value of cos 75 hmm? so we can say well cos 75 75 i can write as 30 plus 45 now you can't distribute use the distribute this is not cos 30 plus cos 45 so we have to use this formula so cos 75 is cos 30 plus 45 which is cos 30 cos 30 times cos 45 minus sine 30 times sine 45 sine 30 times sine 45 okay so what is sine 30 i hope you know sine 30 is root 3 over 2 you should know these rules times cos 45 what is cos 45 is 1 over root 2 minus sine 30 is half times sine 45 is 1 over root 2 okay so this is same as root 3 over 2 root 2 minus 1 over 2 root 2 so the exact value is root 3 minus 1 over 2 root 2 so cos 75 to get the exact value is root 3 minus 1 over 2 root 2 so let's confirm this so my calculator is already set in radian sorry degrees so first let us find cos 75 directly cos 75 is point to this number and let's put this number so i'll put this in the bracket shift root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 shift root 2 
that will give you the exact answer that is 0.258. So both of them are identical. So it, you have got a number of applications for this compound angle formulas. And uh, in my next next video, I'm going to prove this in a in a different way, not taking the help of sine alpha plus beta. We can prove this cos alpha plus beta uh, on its own.